Well, hello there and welcome to my video. I am Mickey B. Have we met? If not, it's nice to meet you. If we have, you know it's always good to see you again. Welcome back to Timu Hall number 15. This is part two. This is my sponsored haul. So the first haul, I showed you the handbag, some baseball caps, and some fragrances. And now let's see what we have in the second half. Um, I haven't, well, I already gave you a heads up. It's going to be jewelry, but let's see what jewelry we got. And there's also one other item. Here's the bag. There's a giveaway right there, what's in here. So let's get this big item out of here so that we can get to the little items. So I did get it out of that Timu bag because it was in there pretty tight. So as you can see, this is the dupe for the bog bag. And I got this because I thought that Janae and I were going to do um, a beach trip, a beach day for her birthday this year, which is actually next, next Monday, the 14th. Yep, next Monday. So if we do, I said, well, let me go ahead and get that back because everybody is speaking so highly of it. And I guess because it's kind of waterproof, it's like not slippery according to the look of this. Like it has a little traction. It's heavy duty plastic. Now the handles are what threw me. See how they're on the side like this? And I'm like, how do you get these handles open? And I think, how did I do it? It was some little trick to it, it wasn't that. Goodness gracious. Okay, is that it? All right, I still don't know what I just did. But that's, oh, I got the handle up. Let's see on the other side. I think I did take it like this from laying down. Oh, this one just popped right up. No, I didn't. Anyways, when I first opened this up, I was stumped. But let me just show you. Look at all this inside. I saw the jewelry, I believe it's all jewelry, that I'm supposed to go over in this haul. So let me pour it out here. All right, I got it out. And here goes his handle again, see? Hold on, because I don't want anything falling on the ground like this. Yep, there we go already. Okay, I got everything out and on my disc. See this handle, what, what is it doing? These handles are weird. Okay, it's back down. Now, do I just open it up? Like, why is it acting strange? Okay, there we go. I still don't know what just happened there, but it's cooperating and the handles are nice and stiff. They say stay pronounced or upright, or you can, as you see, slide them down, but I'm not going to do that again because I don't know how I'll be getting them up like that. All right, let's get all of this stuff. So there's a couple of items in here that is not jewelry. So let's try to do those first. Okay, so that's these. Oh, so there's a couple little makeup items and then the rest is jewelry. Okay, so it's all small stuff. So let's see if I can get through this as quickly as possible. I think I'm gonna need my glasses for this. All right, so the first item is this. And this is another headband. I like to add them to my repertoire. So this is kind of like the old traditional paisley pattern scarves from back in the day. And the back looks like that. So just more headbands, nice and soft uh, fabric. Very soft and stretchy. Something that's not gonna give me a headache when I put it on. I got two of those. This is the second one. This is a, a gray, black, and white color. And then this next one is more of a tannish brown, black and white color. Same pattern, same idea. Let's have a look if I were to have it on with that. 
and this one look like that. Okay, so that's those two items. And now uh, the two that, actually this is one of the ones I ordered last time and they're, they feel pretty much the same. So I'm sure I'm gonna like them. This one I ordered along with that pink one, if you saw in my last video. Okay, so I know Von Von's mom told me to keep these stray hairs at bay. I think it was you who told me that, just to use some hairspray or something, which I don't have. So just bear with me if I keep doing this because you know I don't like them little wispies. Okay, here's the next item. And this is a pair of sunglasses that I, I saw multiple times, but I just never ordered it. Finally, when it came time for my sponsored order, I said, you know what, let me pick that because again, like that pink handbag in my last haul, I kept passing it over and passing it over. And I said, clearly you must want to buy them. So go ahead and get them. So this is a pair of sunglasses and this is the case that it comes in and it comes with a cleaning cloth first pair of sunglasses that I've gotten a case and a cleaning cloth with. And then here are the glasses. And they're in a Ziploc bag. Wow, extra, extra protection. And then they're covered with this plastic. Wow. So let's slide them out. What's all the hoopla? Okay, and this is what they are. <laughs> so this is like a cat-eyed version with some bling bling across the front of it. So let's just see what they look like. I thought I was done with sunglasses. I keep wanting to slide to the side or something. So that's what these look like. And they're not super dark. Like I can see myself in the mirror. I, I mean, it's dark, but I can still at least see versus some of those ones I tried on before. They were so dark, I could barely see myself. They're all right, I guess I really need to see them kind of like in the light as well. I can't get them to stay straight. One side keeps wanting to pull. I guess maybe that's the way they were sitting in there. But this is what this pair of glasses looks like. I don't know, is it me? Okay. I have to figure out why they're pulling. One side is pulling and it feels a little uncomfortable. It could be too because I don't truly have them over my ears because I have this headband on. But I do feel a little pulling action to where they feel crooked. Now they feel right because I tilted it. But I guess they're cute. I don't know. I feel like they were cuter when I first saw them. I don't know that I might have occasion to wear them. I mean, they're not horrible. They're a nice pair of glasses. They're good quality. They're very sturdy and well made. But now that I finally have them, this order took so long, I guess I kind of lost the excitement about them. I don't know. But when I look at them now, they're nice. But we'll see, we'll see. Tell me what you guys think. You think these are nice glasses? Would you wear them? I mean, they're not horrible. They're definitely good quality, very good quality. They're very well um, packaged and shipped. So they made sure that they got here safe and sound with the cleaning cloth and the case, you know, so they uh, definitely took time in putting these together versus just putting them in those little cardboard boxes and some Ziploc bags. And then the case also has a little loop on it so you can hang it off of something. And it's a kind of, a, it's a, it's a hard cover case, but it's not super hard, but it's definitely hard cover where it protects the glasses. All right, let's see what these next items are and then we'll get into this jewelry. So let me get my glasses back on so I can see. Now this item is, what is this? Let's see. This is, it says West and Month, okay. Oh, Lip Sleeping Mask. You guys know I like my lip products. I don't like dry lips ever. So I like a mask before I go to bed. The one that I have now I use faithfully every night. And I saw this and I said, well, let me go ahead and have one on standby so that when I run out of the one that I'm using now, um, there's my trusty dusty snippers. 
um, when I run out of the one that I'm using now, I can roll right into another one because I do not, I repeat, I do not like dry lips. I don't like how it feels. I don't like how it feels and I don't like how it looks. So here's the box. Let's get a little close up for you. I feel like my camera is further away than it normally is. Make sure my microphone is still on. Okay, how do I get in here? That's, oh, it's this one. Okay, let me get this letter opener. There we go. All right, so this is how it opens. It's a pretty pink container. And it says, same thing, lip sleeping mask. And it says berry, I guess berry scented or berry flavored or berry both. There's no more wording on it, but look at the pretty design on the bottle. Kind of little like highlights of dark pink. Let's open her up. And I don't know if this is a dupe for anything. I just, like I said, I like to have a mask when I go to sleep. Mm. And this is what it looks like. Hold on. So it doesn't look like it's made with coconut oil or anything because it's not, um, loose if it was coconut oil it would be dripping right now because it's so hot here so it's nice and smooth it doesn't have like granules or anything in it it's more like vaseline chapstick or wax or something does it say here what the ingredients are to give you an idea maybe that might help Let's see, I like the bottle. Oh, and it comes with a little applicator. Isn't that cute? A little tiny applicator is included. Let me pull that out for you. I almost missed that. Look at that, isn't that cute? That's so cute. Okay, let me put that in here so I don't lose it. All right, so let's see if it gives, you an, gives us an idea of what the ingredients are. Okay, what does this say? Okay, let's look at these ingredients one more time. Okay, it says car caramelia seed oil, olive oil, berry, vitamin, etc. Shelf life three years. So that's what it says for the ingredients, caramelia, caramelia oil. I've never heard of caramelia oil, but I've heard of olive oil. Um, so there you go, um, cute little item, cute little container. I like the pink packaging and uh, it was a nice portion, a nice size in there. It says how much, uh, 20 grams, 20 grams. I don't know what that uh, translates to in ounces, but 20 grams. If I see it in the description when I'm editing, I'll put what the ounces are. So that's that item. Then we have this item here. Let me take the plastic off because I can't see what it is. I think it is, no, that's not. Oh, you know what, this might, well, let's just open it and see what it is. My snippers will make quick work of this. All right, here we go. To reveal the box. Okay, here's the box. And it says Velvet Liquid Blush. Oh, Velvet Liquid Blush. Why did I get this? Let's see, maybe is it for the color? Open it up again with this handy dandy letter opener. All right. Ooh, look at the bottle. That's pretty. Okay, and does it screw off? Yeah, it's a screw. Oh, look at how thick that is. That's a blush. That might be the wrong color for me. I don't have a tissue here. I don't want to put it on me because I don't know how this stuff dries or not. 
but I like the bottle. I don't know if that's a color. I think it's a pink color. Yeah, it's a pretty pink color, like a magenta type of pink. See that? I don't know if this light is helping or not. But yeah, I like the color. I like the packaging. So I'll give that a try the next time I get ready to record. You know, I'm going to put this in my little vlogger box. If you guys saw my haul with the tote bag, I also vlogged a little cosmetic box and I said that I was going to specify that as my vlogging box that will hold all the things that I need for vlogging. So that way I won't forget to use it. Here's the next item and this is a lip glow oil. Very mirror type box. So let's make quick work of this one with my snipper snippers. Get this plastic off of here. Boy, these Snickers, Snickers, <laughs> these snippers are wonderful. Okay, here's the box. And let me get this letter opener and get up under here and open this thing for you. There we go. That's wonderful, handy too. All right, so this is what it looks like. Ooh, look at that. I like how shiny everything is. So this is a lip oil, lip glow oil, color, color reviver, cherry oil. Wow. And that's how thick it is on the bottom. And then it screws open as well. Ooh, come on out there. I want to come. Oh, there we go. Wow, look at how. Oh, I wasn't even in there. Look at how thick this applicator is. This doesn't look like an oil, though. It looks. I don't know. Is that an oil? It looks kind of sticky. Like. Interesting that they call it an oil. It smells like mint it smells like andy's candies mint you know the little square candies that are individually wrapped and then they have a green version it smells like chocolate mint but it's cherry oil it doesn't look like an oil though look at that an oil would leak out that's so thick is that right or is it supposed to be a little looser. I'm not sure about that. It's a very pretty container though. I'll have to give it a try and see what it feels like. But that's what this is. Lip glow oil. All right, now let's get to this jewelry. Okay, okay. Let's get to this jewelry and it's a lot of it. Let's let's get through the quick easy stuff first. So the first item I got is a ring and let's open her up. Ooh, this is kind of pretty. This is what she looks like. It's a band ring. You know, I like my band rings. Now keep in mind, I'm trying to add a little bit more gold into my repertoire. So let's take off my little fish ring here and put this on and see what it looks. Oh, this is too big for that. So I think I clearly bought it for this finger. Let's try it here. Yeah, that's a nice fit for that one. What size is this? Does it say? It says a size nine. So it's just a size larger than I do for this one. So there you go. Let me take off the silver and just put the gold stuff on. Okay, so there's the first item. Now, of course, the second item is this one and it's silver. <laughs> so clearly there's still some silver items in here as well. This one is nice and comfortable so far. Okay, now this one is a crown like a tiara. I do this so I can steady myself so the, the camera can focus and you can see all the 
Okay, so this is a size nine. And you guys, some of, the reason I check the sizes also too is because sometimes these sizes are just what's available. They're not necessarily the size that I want all the time. So that's what this one looks like. It looks like a tiara, move a nub. And if you guys wondered, this finger, I never put um, um, a nail on when I'm using my little press on nails or in my glue on, because there's a special reason why I don't do it. But just FYI, this is intentional, just FYI. I know people probably wonder why does she have all of her nails covered except for this one, it's intentional. But yeah, this is a cute ring, this one. I don't wanna to talk too much about them because I'll have us here all day. So let's get to the next item. Okay, I just sorted everything by rings, bracelets, necklace, and earrings. So here is the next ring, which is actually the same as the one that I got, the first one, but I got it in a rose gold color. And I think I did that so it, I would have one to go with my um, my uh, charm bracelet. So let's take this one off. Let's put it on this side. Hold on. Okay, so there's that one. So these two are the same. One is rose gold. Oh, hold on that. One is rose gold and one is regular gold just nice bands and I like these as bands because they if they're gonna be a band at least they have something to them versus just plain flat like just a plain stretch flat strip I like the idea that there's something to it all right let me take that one off because I got more I need to try on here all right so that one I think was also a size nine but it'll be in the description because I'm gonna about to get all these mixed up in a second here is a, another ring, came in this. This one says nine, so we know that's a nine. And this one is one of these little dangler rings where it's supposed to have something dangling off of it, but this dangler piece is stuck. It's supposed to move. Okay, there we go. See how it dangles from the ring? So you put it on and it's supposed to dangle like that. That's cute. I just, the thing about the gold stuff, the the gold coloring just looks so fake. Spray painted on to me. That's the only thing, that's the only thing that I don't like. That they just look so fake. That's a cute ring. in my hand for you guys. So that's what it looks like all around. All right, this next ring is huge and it is silver again. So I, you know, I can't resist a good silver ring, but this is bigger than I thought it would be. This says size eight for this one. It came in this, comes in this bag. And then here's the ring. And it says size eight for this one. So that would be this finger. So let's see how it fits over here. It's huge. Look at how tall it is. That's an eye puncher outer. Let me steady my arm so you can get a good look. Okay. It's cute. Very tall though. So that's that one, I like it. You know, just for the fun of switching up your jewelry. Mainly just to record these videos, to be honest. All right, here's the next one. This looks like the one I just took off in silver. Let me see, this is the package that it came in. Here's the ring. Okay, this is the one that I, oh no, I take that back. That's different, okay. So, now this one's too big, so I must have, why did I get this one so big? It's 
too big even on that one. Let's try this one. Okay, that one fits better on this middle finger. It's a gold heart. I like how thin this part is because you hardly feel it on your finger. That's what that looks like. And what size is this? Because it's very must be a 10 or something. It says um it says a nine. That's a big nine. It's a big nine. Okay, here's the next ring. I told you I had a lot of jewelry to share with you. Here's the next ring. This says a size nine. And then this is another heart idea. Let's see if it fits here. It's too big for that finger. So this is kind of more like a band one that I would wear on my index finger. See, it's upside down. Let's put it this way. There we go. So that's what this one looks like. That's cute. I like that it's flat and not too tall. And it has a little rhinestones, a little bling bling. It's got to have something in it for me to even want to order it. So this possibly could fit on my middle finger as well. So I could wear it here as well. And I could switch it up on this side. So we're going to do that too. So we'll put this one here. We'll put this one back here. And then the next ones, we'll see what they look like. This ring right here, I think, there was one that I ordered, yeah, this says, I believe it says a size seven. Yeah, this says a size seven and it's the letter M. And I ordered it because I like that you could get it in your initial and they only had size sevens available so i said i'll just buy it and put it on a necklace like i thought to do that little earring in one of my hauls that was too uh too small it was like an earring that i'm gonna show you well, i'll show you when i get to it but they some earrings they look bigger on the side and then when you get them they're this tiny so i had some of those cartier dupe earrings that were so tiny so i said oh i'll just put it on a chain so when I saw this ring, I really liked the ring because it was, you could get your initial on it, but they did not come in any of my sizes. So because they only had seven available, I ordered it in a seven in an M with an M. And I said, I'll just put it on a chain. But when I got it, I'm trying to get it out of here. When I opened it up, I'm like, this is bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I was thinking it was gonna be like those little huggy uh, earrings but this is like a full-size ring and the m is so tiny i don't even know if this is going to catch it but look at how thin it is now it is a smaller ring it's a very thin ring and the m is right up in here so i could wear it on my pinky but it's much bigger than i thought it would be can you see that m right there it's a little tiny m on there so I'm thinking I was just gonna wear this on um, a necklace, but I'm like, this is actually, I don't know what I was thinking. It's still a ring for your finger. So I'm like, I could just wear it on my pinky. So that's probably what I'll do because it's definitely too small. Well, it actually fits my size eight, but it's kind of tighter than I would want. You know how I am with stuff looking tight and chunky like. So it can fit my size eight finger, but, and it's not, too, too com uncomfortable either. I could actually wear it, even though it says a size seven and it's a band. And you know how I always order my bands a size bigger. So this is interesting. This is a size down and I can fit it on that finger. I know I can't fit it there comfortably or here. Maybe I can fit it here, but I would wear it on my pinky right here. So we'll leave this one on this side. I think it's perfect for that. Okay, so the next ring is this one. And 
This says a size nine, and this is another band. This is a pretty band. This is a thick one. I don't normally like them this thick, but because it had such, so many decorative elements to it with the little bling in it, I thought, well, let me give it a try. Because this is one you can definitely get away with wearing on a finger and not be too bad like that, even though it still feels a little thicker than I would like. I don't know, let's see, I like how decorative it is. And it's got like that flower in the center, so there's something to look at. But it is a little thicker though than I would normally like. Let's see what it would look like over here. Yeah, see, I don't even like it over here. It's just, it's a little thicker to me than the normal ones that I would wear on my band. I'll call this my band finger. So I feel like the only option for this one, let's see, does it look right? It's just too thick, a little too thick for me. It's a little too thick. It's a nice ring, but it's, I think it's the thickest band that I've ordered. But if I were to ever wear this one, I would wear it over here. So I guess it looks okay on this finger. So maybe this is the finger that's designated when I, if I ever wear this one. All right, I'm getting too comfortable. Um, the next ring, this is a size nine. And let's pull her out. Comes in another bag. Oh, no, this is a big one. I don't know about this one. This looks like a man's, this is really like for a man, I think. You think? Look at how thick that is. And it's a size nine. Look at all the rhinestones in it though. Very blingy. And I don't know, is that gold okay? Does that look like a real gold or does that look like a spray paint gold? To you guys. Okay, let's see what finger, this is a nine. So this is my size eight finger, which is too big for. This is my size nine finger. This is a big ring. Look at how underneath, look how thick that is. That's ridiculous. That just, I don't know. I feel like I would feel this one too much. Like I could only wear this. Cause it just, look at that. It's so thick underneath there. You don't wanna, I don't like to really feel that I'm wearing a ring this much. It looks nice though. I guess that's what, uh, that's what you wear when you got like a, a lot of money and you're showing it off. <laughs> I don't know, but that feels just too thick. It might be a four man. That's really thick. That's even thicker than this one right here. Ooh hit myself in the mouth all right so let's see let's put it on this finger here okay it feels a little bit better on this hand still thick as all get up but it feels a little better okay i think if i were to ever wear this one this would be the finger peg so this is my thick band and big clunky ring finger because it feels a little bit more better on this side. This is my bigger hand of the two. This one's bigger than this one. So let's put that there. Okay, moving on to the next ring. Good Lord, I feel like we're going to be here all day. What was I thinking? Whew. Sun going down. <laughs> like... Lacey's like, feed me, please. Okay, the next one is a size. This is a size 10. Why did I get a size? This probably was one of the ones where they only had a 10 available. And it's a nice little thin band. And you know, with my bands, I like them bigger anyway. So when I saw that only a 10 was available, that's probably why I went ahead and got it. All right, now because it's a 10, and start there and it's just gold with little heart cutouts in it it's 
so it looks okay on that hand. I wonder if this is one too that I could wear on my thumb like this. To me, a thumb, if I wear something on my thumb, it's gotta be thin like this. So this could be my thumb finger, or it could be this finger. All right, the next one, the next one, moving on, moving on, all these bags, getting them mixed up. Oh, was that the last one? I think that was the last one. Okay, so that's all the rings. So we'll recap them like this. Just throw them back on. Jeez, that was a lot. How many rings was this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven rings. All right, that was eleven rings, guys. I like this one. This is one of my faves because it's got the M on it. This one's cute. I like them all, actually. This is the one I like the least out of all of them. This one. And then this one. The rest I'm cool with. And this one's kind of cool. I like this one actually for the thumb. These two skinny ones I like, surprisingly. But yeah, so these are the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven rings. All right. Let's move on to the brace. I think I only have one bracelet. <laughs> okay, you guys, just when you thought it was safe, I did find one more ring that tried to escape. He slid out of the stack, so let's cover this one. And then there's actually two bracelets. So here's the ring. Oh, you know what? This is what the ring looks like. And I'll tell you, I got this ring because this ring reminded me of my mother's class ring. She, When she graduated high school, she bought like years ago. This is similar to what her high school class ring look like. And so when I saw it, it reminded me of that. So that's why I got this one. And it's nothing fancy, but it's nice. It, it, you know, it's nothing fancy, but it's a nice gold ring. It's, it's nice and flat. And what size was this thing? I can't even, it looks like it says a 10. So I wonder if that's the only size it came in. But that's why I got this one. It was It's very similar. Of course, hers had the printing of her school and whatnot, but like the shape and everything and how flat it was, it wasn't like a pronounced stud or anything on the top. So I got that. That's why I got this one. And it was gold. Hers was gold. And it was all gold. I think I have it somewhere in the room. But that's why I got this one. And it looks nice on my hand. It's actually too big because it's a 10 but i like how it blends so i'll leave this one on but yeah that was the one that escaped now let's get to these two bracelets here's the first one and this one it's very thin you know how i like them just a thin bar and it says something on this bar Lover dream. So let's take my little cross bracelet off here and put this one on. And it's one of those slip ones where you just slide it like that. So you don't need anybody to help you put it on. Now let's make sure it's right side up. And you know, I got it just because it's so uh, sleek and thin and dainty. <laughs> you know I like dainty. Okay, let's slide it up. Sliding it close so I can have some dangle. Okay, so that's what, look at how dainty that is. These little hair pieces are driving, there we go. Look at how dainty that is. Let me see, you can read it too and get my arm still. Hold on. There we go. I don't know if it's upside down for you or not. Okay, 
Okay, can you read it right there? I think you can read it right there. It says lover dream. But look at that. Look at the bottom dangles like that. And then the top. So that looks cute with the little rings. The gold rings. So yeah, I'm getting I'm getting some gold in here. Let me loosen it up just a little so I can dangle a little bit more. Okay. I like a little bit more dangle. Like when I hold it mainly this way, I like it to dangle a little further down like that. But that's cute. Nice and thin. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, all right, all right, okay. All right, let's take it off. There we go, and then it just pulls close like that. That's so perfect easy to get on and off. I'm going to put this back in the bag so I don't lose it. And then the next bracelet is this. It's like a chain. All right, open up, open up. Okay. Oh, and it's just a simple Okay, now this is weird. Something must have, it looks like this and this, but I think this must, this piece must connect over here and act like a safety because it doesn't make sense to just hang the way that it's hanging like that. So I gotta believe that it just slipped off of it just slipped off this over here. And it just goes in right here on this side. Let's see. And I do have a few, like some jewelry pliers that I could use to get this back in there. Because other than that, it doesn't make sense to me. And hopefully I've got the picture up as we're looking at this. And that I'm right. But anyways, it's just a gold chain. Here's the lobster clasp. I do this, you can see it better because I can be steady. Here's the lobster clasp. And then I'm going to call this a safety chain. I'll bet you that's what it is because I can see like a little loosening right here. Let me see something, I don't want to break it. But you know I'm hard headed like that. I thought I pulled it apart a little, but I didn't. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it goes like that. So the clasp works really smoothly and you just put it on. It's a nice fit. It's got the perfect amount of dangle. And then we have this hanging underneath it once it's connected. And that's gonna be cute. Like once it's fastened and then the lops and then the safety part is connected, we'll have some dangle underneath. So just your standard gold bracelet gold chain bracelet. Okay, so that's all the bracelets. Now let's look at the earrings. Because I think these, these there's not that many earrings. The first pair, when I was telling you, I'll show you what I meant when I said I bought earrings to, they were so small that I said I would put them on a necklace. Well, that's what these are looking like as well. You can see how tiny they are in there. And to me, they never look like that in the picture. This is like something, again, for a little baby. Oh, I thought they were on this card. So they're just loosely in there. So look how tiny these are. They're cute, but they're too tiny to do. I can't even get these on my ear. You see how tiny that is? And is there a rhinestone or anything? I feel something right here. Where's mine? This is how tiny it is. I need my magnifying glass just to look. Oh, you know what that is? That's just where it bends to open. Right there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to get. Okay, that's where it bends to open, was what I was feeling. Right there. So these are super tiny can't even fit on the tip of my pinky, barely. Just to put it in perspective for you. 
So this would definitely be along the lines of that necklace <laughs> idea. Cause these are just too small for me to do anything with just like those other ones. Make them, I guess I'm gonna have to really pay attention to measurements now that I have a point of reference. Does this have a measurement size? It does not. And then same thing with this pair right here. I believe these to be too small. Let's open them up. Okay. These are cute. Yeah, see, these are so cute too. But they're just too doggone small. It's all blingy blingy. Is how I like it. These would have been perfect to wear if they were a little bigger. But they're just so small. This is what the back of it looks like. I need, I forgot my assistant here. There we go. See how little that is? And this is what it looks like on the front. See the bling? Very cute. Just too small. These are really tiny. Can't do anything with that. I can't do anything with these tiny earrings, but they're certainly cute. But the pictures, Pictures tell a different story, I tell you. All right, now the last pair of small earrings, I might be able to make these work. Maybe. This pair. Now they, this is misleading. They don't, they just fell out of the package. Where did it go? There's one, there's two, okay. So these are pretty small too. Where's my little assistant here? I don't know that I could, this is so tiny. Okay, this is what they look like in real life. See how tiny that is? And I think the way you put them on is this pearl part slides off so let's see because other than that i don't know how you would get yeah so that slides off like that the pearl and then it slides on like this So maybe I can get that in, I'm not sure. But I don't wanna to work too hard just to get an earring on. But yeah, that's what these look like. And again, they are smaller than the pictures show. So you guys be careful when ordering the earrings, make sure that you're getting an accurate or realistic impression of what you're going to receive. Okay, so that was that pair. And then, okay, here's some normal size stuff. And here's the irony. These things are much bigger than I thought they would be. Look at how huge those are. I didn't want, in the picture, they look like the, my normal size, which is probably about half of this. And then when I get them, they're like twice the size that I was expecting. So as you see, I'm not having and this one's broken. What? It might be an easy fix. I don't know, but it looks broken. So yeah, that can't be fixed. That whole piece came off. This part right here that opens up and now I can't even get this thing to open. Okay, there we go. So this is the piece that's broken on this one. that I don't know how you would try to get yeah that's broken that can't be fixed 
see that's broken. But anywho, this is bigger than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was gonna be about half this size. And I didn't think they were gonna be this thick either. I thought they were gonna be thinner. So anyways, I can't use them anyways because they're broken. So let's put that away. I'm not having any luck on the earrings, I will say. I don't think I've ordered a pair yet that turned out to be what I thought it was gonna be. Even these, when I ordered these from the picture, they did not look this big. These things are huge. I'm like, goodness gracious. But I guess they're cool. They sound like they're metal. They're made out of some kind of metal. But they are huge. They're much bigger than I thought they were going to be. I guess it's not the end of the world. I don't normally wear super big stuff like that. But look at can't even get this to open. Let's see. The thing is bent, so it's gonna have to be bent open or else I'm gonna break it. Yeah, these earrings seem to be too fragile. Let's see if this one opens up. Jeez. You guys, I'm not making this up. You see this, don't you? It's like they're smashed. This part where they're supposed to just slot into, it's so tight. I can't even get them, lift them to open because they must have been smashed during shipping. So I have to squeeze those open or else those are gonna break as well. And then the last pair is this big three size of gold rings, which again, I didn't think any of them were gonna be this big. The biggest one, I mean, the smallest one here is probably what I was thinking the biggest one was gonna be. And the other two were gonna size down from there. But these, let's see if they even open up. I don't even know if I could get these open, but they're huge and they're all, look at how thick these are. It's three pairs, by the way. So here's the first pair and these are, they feel very light and hollow. Okay, this one will work because it has that spring thing, but they're not smooth at all. I think I'm good on the earrings after this. Look at how this is all bent up. Let me steady my arm. Can you see that? Look at how that's all bent. It's supposed to be straight like this. Yeah, these earrings are a wash. I can bend it back a little. Is that even close? No. Oh my goodness. This, don't buy the earrings. That's all I can say. Look at that. Is that still not even in there? Okay, I had to fight it in there. Well, these work only because they're the spring kind. They're not the kind that slot in. Yeah, so it's this pair, this pair, and then this big pair, which I don't even wear earrings is this big. So look at that. Look at how it's like right on the edge. I don't know, man. And then this one's like got all this excess. This one's barely on there. You see that? <laughs> Okay, I think I've pointed out enough on the ear, the quality of these earrings. Maybe other people have had better luck, but I don't even wear earrings this big. So the earrings, no luck on none of those earrings. So let's move to the necklaces and we'll be done. Okay, cause this has been going on long enough. Okay, we got seven necklaces. So let's see how quickly we can go through these. First one looks like this. I'm thinking this is a necklace, let's see. Uh-oh, look at something already falling out. What is this? Okay. Oh my gosh, just pieces just falling and breaking. 
Oh, this looks like a set of bracelets. I think. Again, yeah, this is a set of bracelets. So again, there's this chain with this little dangling, which can't be right. And then this chain, which also has a dangle. Is that supposed to be right, this little dangle? Oh, you know what, maybe it is the, uh, the extender piece if you need to make it big because these look a little small they feel very light maybe that is how they do it it's supposed to be so you can make the bracelet a little wider because these two have the same thing and then this one has the same thing and it's like a cuff one so these are bracelets and it's just plain gold nothing on the front and that's just hanging and then the fourth one, it's just this one that doesn't have any dangle at all. This is the nicest of the few of the four. Let's put that on. You can see. Does it say something? Oh, it says love, L-O-V-E. Let me turn it so you can see it. So this one's cute. I can deal with this. Um, this piece fell out, but none of them seem to be broken, but I don't know why this piece was in there that fell out. Hold on, where's my assistant? Yeah, this fell out of there. But luckily it doesn't seem to have affected any of these pieces. So it's a four bracelet set. There you go, one, two, three, and four. All right, so let's put this away. Oh, my bad, I thought that was a necklace. Okay, so here is a necklace right here. This is definitely a necklace. Okay. And this is, it looks like a two-piecer. I can separate the two. Okay, so here we go again with this chain hanging. And this little part at the bottom, this one actually has a little ball at the bottom of this one. And there's the lobster claw closure. And then the second one, which are these connected? Let's see if they're connected or separate. Okay, this one, they're connected in the paper, but I think that's just for packaging because all I have to do is pull this through here, then I can separate them. So this is the first one. This is what it has. I guess it's choker style, but this is the extension part with the little ball on the end. So I don't know, these must be one of those layer ones where you're supposed to wear them together. What am I doing here? Child, I don't know. And then this is the second one where it has a little dangly part. That says love. And then it has this piece right here that slips through the hole like, you know, those typical like that. And that's what keeps it together. Okay, so that's the second bracelet. I'm not gonna try these on because I don't wanna drag this out too, too long. Okay, so that's that. The next bracelet has pearl in it. With full pearl, I should say, it looks like this. Let 
This one's kind of pretty. It's got some nice weight to it. That's nice. Now what's different about this one? See how it's got the chain like that? What's different about this one is this closure. This is the, how you get it on and off right here. See how that, let's see. There it goes. This, yeah, see how this opens up right here? Oh my goodness. <laughs> This is how you get it on and off. This is the latch. Is this in the way maybe? It's supposed to happen here, but when I open it up, it doesn't leave room. Okay, there we go. Very tiny hole there. Jeez. Okay, so that's how that goes on. That's a little different from what I'm used to. But this is how you wear it. This is how it looks, you know, once you wear it. And I got this because I thought maybe these little pearl earrings would go good with it. But I don't even know how, if I can get the little pearl earrings on. All right, moving on. Four pieces left. This is just a simple gold chain. Uh, one of those snake, what do they call it? Snake herringbone chains, I think. From back in the day when everybody used to just wear that gold chain. That one that looked like a big thick one like this. So that's all this is, just a traditional thick gold chain. Here's the lobster closure. Here's that dangling piece again that I always feel like it means it's broken, but I guess not. I guess this is just the extender if you need to make it larger. Okay, so this is just your standard gold chain. Everybody used to wear these back in the day. Back in the day, gold, everything was gold. That's what was funny. Nobody was thinking about silver. But now silver has really arrived. All right, now this one, this next, I got this also to wear with those pearl earrings two options you know this full pearl set this looks more like a choker but I'm sure you know this will come in handy on this if you want it to extend it but again I got this to go with these okay and I do have a real set of pearls as well but I'm not a really I don't wear pearls that much but you always need to have a set of pearls on hand never know when you're gonna need them and then this one right here i'm scared to try to open this thing it already looks all tangled up let me see let me give it a try i'm not gonna spend too much time on it because we are almost done we got one more after this and then we are done Okay, it untangled fairly easy, I think. So one loop right here it looks a little compromised. Okay, there we go. This is really thin. That's cute though. Look at that. Can we see? Is that something in the front? Oh yeah, it looks like a little, um, that's cute in the front. It looks like mother of pearl in the front of that heart. The back is just plain gold. But the front is like mother of pearl. It's cute. These look like paper clips though. And then it comes down to this at this thing so big it's twirling around then it comes down to this uh thin chain and then there's the extender chain right here and it has a little tag on the end of it okay so that's that's nice i like how dainty it is I'm not sure about these paper clips leading into the chain though. I guess it's something different. 
guess it doesn't look too, too bad. Let me just leave this one out because that looked like it could get tangled very easily. And then the last one, drum roll, please. Drum roll, please, is this one. And I think that I'm going to like this one the best out of all of them. And that goes this way. And it is one of those, it's got rhinestones on it. Oops, okay. There's the extender piece that we now know is the extender piece. See, these look more complete. So it's not a guess as to what it is. Yeah, this one's tangled a little. Oh, this is cute. Okay, so that's what this one looks like. Isn't that cute? It's like a little cylinder. It says something on the ends and then it's got rhinestones. Hello. Hello, how are you? <laughs> it's got rhinestones. Let's see what it says on those ends because it's so tiny. It says, I can't tell. I can see the letters. G B V L G A R something. I don't know. I don't think I can get close enough for you guys to read it. Maybe right there you can see it. Try to zoom in on that. But this is cute. And it's just like a little roll of toilet tissue. <laughs> And it's got rhinestones on it. I like the chain. Here's the chain. Yeah, this one's my favorite out of them all. The last one, huh? All right, you guys. So that was a good, good haul of a lot of their gold jewelry objects. This is not even a dent in obviously what they offer, but it was a lot for me tonight to share with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I'll have the links to everything in the description box and in the first pinned comment. And if you are interested in purchasing any of them, you know you can use my discount code if you are a first time user. Um, and you can save 30%. It's OPT43129. That's OPT43129. 30% off of your order if you are a first time user. Um, everything is on the Timu website. If it's not available, then there will be no link um, provided in the description box or in the first pinned comment. If they are still available, then of course you'll find the links there. So I think all in all, I did get some pretty good gold pieces to add to my repertoire now so I don't have to wear everything silver. I had the most luck, I believe, with the rings. The, the earrings were a wash. I think I got one good necklace, maybe two, um, that I would really like. That's that dainty heart one right here. And then the last two, I think these are the last two. So I think those might be the ones that I like the most out of the necklaces. And yeah. Oh, and then, you know, the we had the lip mask, I mean the lip mask. And then this oil stuff, I'll have to see because that was so thick. I'll have to see what that feels like and see what this blush looks like, this liquid blush. That's gonna be a first for me, but we'll see how these fare. And then my headbands and then the fancy pair of sunglasses that we'll have to see if I ever wear those. But thanks so much for watching. I hope this didn't go overly ridiculously too long. If it did, I apologize, but I had to get it done. And my next haul, I've got some really great things to share with you guys. I got some great dupe bags that at least one dupe bag that I want you to see and share with you that I was excited to get. So on that note, I'm on the road to 16,000 subscribers. If you like my videos and only if you like my videos and my content, 
please subscribe so that you will be available to catch all of my uploads as I upload them. And on that note, I'm going to say goodbye. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.